binding water meant traveling long distances. It fell to a hybrid engineer, geologist and diviner called a Mogani to figure out how to bring it back to his people. Using nothing more than stone chisels, Moganis would build the first cornerstone of the Persian Empire, a breakthrough system of underground irrigation canals called kanats. They began by harnessing gravity to exploit the natural topography of their land, which sloped relentlessly down from the Alborz Mountains towards the Persian Gulf. Vertical shafts were first dug down from the surface, and the tunnel was excavated horizontally for a short distance. Then another vertical shaft was built, approximately three quarters of a mile up the slope, and the channel continued. It can be sometimes 20, 30, 40 kilometers away, so it's a very skilled operation, to the point where the gradient of the, of the water channel uh, meets the aquifer or the, uh, the, the groundwater sloping up at, at the point where the mountains begin. The angle of the slope was crucial. One unit in elevation for every hundred on the horizontal. Not too steep because that would erode the base of the, of the water channel and of course not so flat uh, as to prevent the water from moving to its intended destination.